Godzilla has taken on a lot of different opponents, and he's been to so many incredible places. But there's one place that he's never really gone. One place that we always thought would be an interesting battlefield, but never really seen in the form of movies. However, this July, Godzilla's going to the last place you'd ever think he would have been. Godzilla goes to hell. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Godzilla, this, uh, this July, IDW, at the month right after Godzilla Rulers of Earth ends, a five-part miniseries will literally have the King of the Monsters go to hell. Not like Hades, no, hell, fire, brimstone, the actual hell. Godzilla is going to fight the forces of hell. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he is go- yeah, Godzilla is going to the underworld. He's not gonna fight Hades, he's not gonna- he's fighting Lucifer. He is fighting- going one-on-one -on -one with Lucifer. And in this five-part miniseries, it will be a series in which Godzilla descends in- from hell all the way going deeper into each circle of hell to go one-on-one -on -one with Lucifer. And also, uh, Godz some of Godzilla's dead playmates are down there. <laughs> yeah, Ghidorah is in hell as well. Gigan's in hell. All Basically, every villain that Godzilla ever killed in his life is down there waiting for him, amped up on demonic energy. So, what do I think of Godzilla in the land of fire and brimstone, you know? The home of the damned. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Godzilla is a destroyer of war- is pretty much a force of nature, and has caused thousands of lives, um, throughout- and life, you know, he has killed millions of people, and has sent a good number of people down there. So I would admit, like, I would love a quick scene of God's- like, Godzilla's trumping through hell, and all of his, like, uh, some of his victims from his attacks on Japan- uh, rise up and, cr like, create their own demon to fight him. So yeah, Godzilla is... The big question is, how did he get down there in the first place? They have yet to reveal that. That's what I'm really curious about the most, is that how the hell did he get to hell? That's the big question. Now, the other thing with this is that this comic book isn't going to be done by just one writer. It's going to be done by a multitude of writers. Starting off... And it's starting off with a freaking bang... Need I wrote, um, it's going to be started off. The first issue is going to be written and drawn by James Stoko. You know, the guy who did that little comic called the Half Godzilla: The Half Century War. Yeah, that. If you want to start a mini series, that's a good way to do it. There's also going to be several artists and writers in this five part mini series of uh, Godzilla's journey through hell. And, yeah, <laughs> like I said, some of Godzilla's old uh, playmates are going to be down there waiting for him. But you have to remember, in this world, Godzilla's going to be fighting the, em you know, the Emperor of Evil, you know, the Snake in Eden, the, you know, the, fa the first fallen angel. He's g the main opponent Godzilla's fighting his way to is Lucifer. That is going to be a fight right there. The King of the Monsters versus the, you know, the King of the, the Emperor of the Damned. Yeah, that's going to be a hell, that's going to be literally a hell of a fight. Among other things with this is that, you know, I'm really curious to see, um, like I said, what sent Godzilla down to hell in the first place. That's going to be something to behold. Uh, among other things, God's, uh, I'm really curious to see, uh, like, these artists' represent representations of each circle of hell. Like, we have, pur obviously, we have Purgatory, uh, I'm trying to remember them all. There was Greed, Wrath, Gluttony, uh, no, it wasn't called, uh, Wrath, it was called Violence. And we also had Treachery. Each of these circles are worse than the last. And hell's a pretty bad place to be, so I really want to see how these artists, um, really bring this rep representation of hell to life. And, yeah, it's it's very reminiscent of, like, da it very feels much like Dante's Inferno of the hero traveling into hell to fight his way out of it. Well, in the original poem, it was a poet who went down there to find his love, and he, like, passed out every time. I'm talking about the Dante's Inferno video game, and that's a very cool, that's a very interesting representation of hell. Like, each of those circles were very, 
different and each played to the themes of their original form and in the original uh, Divine Comedy. I would not be surprised that someone was like reading the Divine Comedy and literally said, you know what? Instead of uh, like a poet, let's put the let's put a giant radioactive lizard down there and have him fight dev and fi have him fight the devil. That would be awesome, right? And someone at IDW said, "Yeah, let's do that." <laughs> yeah. So that's going to be the big thing is that um, when he goes down to e Godzilla's going through each circle. I want to know, like, uh, again, what se did someone send him down there? Did the did the devil? Uh, drag him to hell? Did Godzilla just stumble into a, into like hell itself? Or, like I said, did someone send him, like, transport him down there? I wouldn't be surprised if, like, this tied into, like, maybe Dimension Tide, uh, if they use, like, a version of Dimension Tide from Godzilla vs. Megagyrus, and shot him off into another universe, that universe being hell. So, anyway... Really excited to see where this is going to go, and it's right. It's the month after uh, Rulers of Earth ends, so I'm really glad that you know IDW is decided to do something, you know, really quickly after this phenomenal series ends this year. And th apparently, this this series will be coming out weekly. So all the month of July for five weeks, we're getting you know Godzilla in Hell. So, you guys tell me, what do you what do you guys think of the idea of Godzilla in hell? Do you guys like the idea? Do you guys hate the idea? What monsters do you want to see resurrected and demonic, like a demonic version of kaijus? And better yet, what demons do you want to see Godzilla go head to head with? Personally, I'd like to see Godzilla fight the Leviathan. Uh, that's the demon. Uh, that's the the beast in some scriptures that swallowed Jonah, and in and it's also the embodiment of envy. It's this humongous uh, just like the name says, it's a Levi it's the Leviathan. Maybe have God you know, Godzilla take on some of the other great de you know, other ancient demons of hell like Astaroth, the Archduke of Hell, uh, Mammon, uh, uh, Beelzebub, all these like you could have like kaiju versions of all these ancient demons. Like you could even have Godzilla attack pa uh, Pandemonium, which is the capital city of hell. Yeah, that'd be an interesting a, a city for Godzilla to fight. Anyway, so really curious to see what you guys uh, ha have to say about this one, because did anyone expect this? I mean, yeah, there's probably been fan fiction here and there of Godzilla in the land of fire and brimstone, but yeah, <laughs> Godzilla's going to hell, and I'm very excited. <laughs> Good on you, IDW, for coming up with this idea, and starting off with James Stoko is in the step in the right direction. But anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this vid, and I will see you guys later.